In this video, I'm just going to show people how to uh, convert data types. Uh, it's just a practice. We've already done it. So let's have a look at a data type here. So we've got a string and we'll just say string P. Okay, like that. And then we want to add an integer. So let's say 29. Well, you can see that when we first run this program and there was only the line hello world, that this ran perfectly fine, right? What happened if we run it now? There's an error. The reason there's an error is because in the real world, you can't add, for example, the word hello with a number 700, you know, because they're incompatible uh, data types. Like, um, you can't mathematically add a word and a number because they're incompatible okay this is essentially a number in the form of a number if we turn it into a word like in the sentence I am 29 years old then this you know will print out okay so if we convert this to a string this should be okay All right. I'm just gonna comment that out now just so that it doesn't interfere with our code and we're going to print string p like that plus 29 and we're going to use the word string and put this 29 in brackets i'm going to set an end bracket there just because that closes off the print function you know it's good practice and if i run that we should get a string and we've actually printed that out so that does work now in newer versions of swift you cannot turn strings into integers without a variable so i'm not going to attempt to okay just just remember what i've said when you want to convert a string into an integer it's not straightforward so you know you want to look at that later or outside of here this is just a basic tutorial so i'm not going to include that but there are ways to do it okay so let's say i want a string call it string p again and I also want a truth value, so that's a boolean. And I also want the number 29 to be added onto that, okay? Now, I need two conversions, but fortunately, I can straight up convert the boolean into a string. Easy peasy. And I can also just turn the int straight into a string. Lovely jovely. We run that, and it comes out. Not really how you might expect it or want it. You might want a space there, but it has come out nonetheless. So that's perfectly fine. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's try it with mm, two numbers. Okay. We'll say 99.5 and 107. Okay. Let's try and run that. And it works. Apparently that's fine. Okay, fine. Um, hmm. doesn't always work. I wonder if I do it backwards. Will that not work? Because I'm I'm genuinely curious. Because sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll add ninety nine point five to nine hundred and nine. I think it's going to come out. You know, yeah, it is. Okay, well, we can now conclude that this works. This is fine. All right, let's try and add two numbers to a string. So we're going to add the number out of the string D, D, D plus 99.5 plus 101. All right. If we print this out or we run it, it won't work um, because you can't add these numbers to a string. Okay. You have to convert them. What we want to do is convert them both into a string right but we want to add them together first so really we want to get the string of 99.5 plus 101 this should work now it hasn't worked for some strange reason and i think i know why it hasn't worked string and double that's why so that has to be turned into a double. 
Stupid, I know, but it has to be turned into a double. Oh, apparently that doesn't work either. I can't turn... What? Oh, right, it's because of this stupid thing here. Didn't comment it out, did I? Idiot I am. There we are. Got what we wanted, although I don't actually think I need to turn this into a double. I, I tell you what, I'll keep this here. Okay, I'll copy it. I don't know how you're pasting this damn thing. No idea how you paste. Doesn't seem easily possible. But let's let's try it again with a string. Because before I was actually getting errors. Like sometimes you get errors um, depending on what version of Swift you use. You get different errors. But let's see what happens here. That seems to have run. I mean, there's no errors, so it has run. Okay, so that's fine. Now, let's imagine what happens if instead of doing that, we just print out, for example, here we are. We decide that we want to make a string of 99.5 plus a string of 101. This will work. But it won't give us what we intended. You'll see what I mean. So if I go down here, it's given us 99.5101. So rather than, you know, mathematically adding these two numbers, it's just put this word, because it's now a string, 99.5, to the front of this string. Okay. So this 101 has just been added to the string 99.5. So rather than mathematical addition, it's just been interpreted as one word being added onto another word. You see here? So the word 999.5 added to the word 101. And that's as simple as that is, really. Okay? So it has worked, but it hasn't given us what we hoped for. And this is something you've got to really look out for when you're converting data types. Because the last thing you want to do is get, you know, all your data types converted and then have them come out into the program and it be converted the wrong way. Because if you don't notice, if you don't print it, and if you don't check your errors, your program isn't going to work as intended. You know, it'll pass, it'll run, but it won't work the way you want it to because you've made an error, a human error here, right? Give one more example of this because I think it's getting pretty obvious more or less how to do these. But I'll, I'll make a complicated example. So we'll say 990 plus 850 plus true plus hello plus 85. Or should we say plus false? Okay. Now, obviously, if I run this now, it's not going to work. So I'm not going to run this because this is giant, right? So we want the string of these two, the 990 plus the 850. And then we want to add the string of true. Like that. Simple enough, no? And the string of false. This is because we can convert everything to string, but we can't convert the string to everything else. So we just convert it all to string. We want to add these two up and then convert them to string because we don't want 990,850. We want whatever the addition of these two figures is. And let's see, let's run it. So it has run. And there we are. 1840, true, hello, false. Okay. It's not really how we want it. We probably want, you know, a couple of spaces in between things here, but it's it's not a big deal really, you know. It's it's a forgivable thing. Anyway, that's really all there is to it. You know, like as, as I said, it was just a lot of practice. Um, if you're doing this yourself, I would I would uh, advise you practice and you run things that you know are going to be erroneous, um, just so you can get a good understanding of how this conversion works and just a better understanding of Swift as a programming language. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.